guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video, my first video of 2021. A big happy new year to you all and I'm kicking off this year with a hair tutorial. So, I have short hair, obviously. I think waves look really good on short hair but I do feel like they need a little bit of direction at the end so sometimes if you wave your hair when you have short hair it can just kind of go everywhere. But with this style, it has some direction at the end. So you kind of focus on waving the hair, but then straightening the end slightly, just to give the hairstyle an overall structure and an overall direction. It just feels to me a little bit more styled versus when you curl the whole of your hair and you just leave it to flow, which I love on longer hair. When I've got longer hair, I love having um, loads of waves, loads of curls that are kind of everywhere. But with shorter hair, for me personally, I don't feel like it works that great. So this is why I love this hairstyle. So if you wanna see how I create this look, then keep on watching. So first thing I do is section my hair off. Now, when you have short hair, doing the bottom layer sometimes feels a little bit odd because it's quite hard to do and the shorter the hair, the harder it is to do. But just give it a go. It doesn't matter too much because at the end of the day, you won't really see it. It's just the ends that matter. So. There are two different tools you can use to get the look that I love. You can either use some straighteners, so you can curl your hair with the straighteners. These are the Dyson Corel ones. And I was sent these in a PR package. They're amazing. And they're obviously cordless, which makes doing your hair with straighteners a whole lot easier. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with straighteners. And you can obviously use any straighteners. And you can also do it with curling tongs. So these are the GHD Curve. I will link the exact ones below because they are the smaller barrel. Now, when I have shorter hair and I want to create this kind of wavy, beachy look, is that the right word for it? I'm not really sure the right word for the overall look, but you know what I mean. Um, you do need to use a smaller barrel curler. These are obviously not on. If you use a larger barrel curler, in my personal experience, then the curls will drop out and you won't kind of get that super curled look, you'll get just like a bit of a wave that will probably drop out. Whereas if you use a small barrel, they are a lot less likely to drop out and they'll last a lot longer. Although I do love using a larger barrel when I have longer hair, or it depends what kind of look you're going for. Going for this kind of wavy with straight end look, then a smaller barrel, if you have shorter hair and fine hair like me, definitely works best. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by showing you how to do your hair with the straighteners. I am not the best at this, I will admit. I've only been cutting my hair with straighteners since I've had short hair, which hasn't been that long. So yeah, I'm not the best at it. These are cordless, as I said, so they have like a battery life, which you need to watch. But I'm just gonna show you how I do so even though I've sectioned it, I am going to section it again, just with my hands. So you do like a top section and then the bottom section. So you always want to be going outwards. So can you see, you just twist the straighteners like so. And, and that gives like a, a random curl because I've got short hair and it's the bottom layer. But as I said, the bottom layer doesn't really matter too much. It's all about how you work it through. The top layer so don't start off and do the bottom layer rubbish and think ah oh, this isn't gonna look good because it will look good as long as you save it basically so I'm just gonna do that and as I want all of the ends straight even though there's hardly a curl I'm just gonna pull down the very ends with a straightener and you can also do this with the curling tongs as well. So I'm gonna show you the other side, how I do it with the curling tongs. So with the curler, I'm gonna separate my hair off again into two different sections and then curl outwards. So I'm actually not gonna put the hair in the clamp, although I do sometimes. And pull it round being careful not to burn yourself obviously and then leave in a bit at the end so you don't curl all of the hair, you leave a little bit at the end so it does give you that kind of 
kind of more structured look. And as you can see, it actually gives an, a lot more of a wave than it does with the straightener. So it does give a different look. Subtle, I'd say, because when you do the whole hair, you wouldn't be able to overly tell what you've done with the straightener and what you've done with the curler. But um, definitely does kind of give a more wavy look when you use a small barrel curler. In my opinion, maybe there's a different technique you can do with the straightener to make it that more curly. But um, yeah, I find you get a more wavy look doing it with a small barrel curler. Okay, so now I've done that bit, I need to straighten the end. So you can, as I said, use the curler to straighten the end. So you need to use the clamp part and you just go on like that and pull it down. And it gives a straight end. So now the bottom section's done, I'm gonna section it off again and go into like one of the middle sections. Now obviously it all depends on your hair type how much hair you have, how long your hair is, as to how many sections you will need. But I generally do it in about four sections. And for this video, I am gonna to continue to use the small barrel curler. But as I said, you can do this style with a straightener as well. So now we're on the longer bits of the hair, it'll be a little bit easier to show you exactly how to do it because the shorter bits are not that easy. So I'm just gonna curl that round and then so wrap the hair around the curlers, pointing downwards and curling outwards. So you have to hold the curler in a kind of different way, like you wouldn't usually hold it like this, you'd think you'd hold it the other way. And um, leaving a bit at the end, so don't curl a whole lot of the hair. You want to leave a little bit at the end, and then drop. As you can see, that curl there. And then... I'll do this bit. So curling round and outwards and leaving some hair at the end so you can straighten it down a bit with the curlers. Or you could use straighteners if you want to straighten the end bits of straighteners. It's completely up to you. There are loads of different ways to do this. It's just about doing it the easiest way, I guess. So that is a super curl there. I'm just gonna get hold of that. And straighten the ends in the same direction, which is down. Then as you can see, you have a really nice curl with a straight end. So I'm gonna use that method for the whole of my hair and I'll be back when I'm at the front. There's no need to rush, so let's just take our time. Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind. My mind. So just sit with me. Talking to the night until the morning, building camp mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Okay, so most of the body of my hair is done. I'm now gonna do the top part. Now, this part can either make or break the hairstyle, so. Yeah, sometimes it can go a bit wrong. <laughs> no, most of the time it, it's, it's all good, but um, you do have to kind of watch it so you don't ruin the hairstyle, basically. So I thought I'd do it with you guys just to give you a couple of tips. That's the best way to do it. So, best way to do it is I usually do it in two sections. So I do the back top part and then the front top part. So I'm just going to curl that down so it doesn't get in the way. Make sure I brush through it so there's no kinks in the hair. If there's a kink in the hair it could lead to the curl going wrong basically. So that's why I always try and brush through the curl. So I'm going to wrap the hair around the curler and then leave in a good amount at the bottom 
because I don't want to curl it all. I want to leave a bit at the bottom so I can straighten it down. And then bring it down so it's super cold at the moment. I'm obviously going to brush that out. But for the time being, I will just leave it like that. So the front section. Now this may take a few goes to perfect. It does for me sometimes. I'll brush through it. I'm then going to place, I'm then going to place the tongue, wrap the hair around it, leaving a section at the bottom, as I have all throughout my hair, but you just got to watch this because it, it can go a bit crazy. <laughs> Okay, so as you see, that is super curled and it looks very random. But I'm going to leave it like that just to set basically whilst I do the other side. So I'm going to get hold of my hair. I'm going to brush through it, curl this part down so it's separate. I do apologise if you can hear children in the background. Obviously, they are all at home at the moment, so uh, yeah, there will definitely be some noise. <laughs> okay, so again, just copying exactly what I did on the other side of the hair, wrapping it round, pointing it down and leaving a bit at the end. So doing exactly the same with the front bit as you did on the other side, as you can see, it's all wrapped round with some at the end. So when you're brushing through, you might notice some places that just need the ends straightening a little bit more. So with this, I'm just going to turn the colours back on and just give a little bit more direction to the bottom of the hair. There we go, that looks much better. And then any others that I see, so you will have to go through and just fix any ends that are looking a bit crazy and then do the same with the other side so I'm going to brush it out and then fix any ends that need a little bit more direction so that is my hairstyle done and now as it is quite tight curls it will drop slightly throughout the day and I almost prefer it when it's been done for a few hours and it just drops ever so slightly. So here it is after it's dropped after a few hours and I much prefer it after a few hours once it's dropped. It's got a little bit of life in and the curls aren't so tight although the curls are still pretty good. This hairstyle will also last a few days as well so I have very fine hair as I said and I do need to use dry shampoo on day two already. My hair just likes to get greasy so I have to use dry shampoo but once you've used some dry shampoo it looks good as new. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.